The Beijing Winter Olympics operate in a loop. You probably have known that, but what does it mean? Uh, is it safe? Today I'm gonna do a little experiment. I'm trying to find a loophole. Now I'm actually outside the loop. I'm about to enter the loop. Now behind me is the security gate. Once I'm in, I'm officially in. Okay, now I have passed through the security and I was asked to put on my N95 uh, mask. I have many luggage and uh, these are everything that I'm gonna take in the next uh, month or so. As you can see, there's a shuttle behind me. So we're in the loop. If we want to go to a different place, we have to take a shuttle within the loop. For example, now we are heading to Tinka Railway Station. So we're actually stand by at this uh, station. It says to Tinka Railway Station. See, so we're exiting this uh, area and now we have hop on to the street. And as you can see, there's a special lane uh, that is designed for the Olympics. So this is the Qinghe Railway Station. Here we are. And uh, remember, this is the closed loop system. So we enter from over here, but the spectators of the games will actually enter the station from another side. And uh, here we are. And this is the space we can uh, take a rest. As you can tell, there's a barricade uh, actually in the middle. So the other side is outside the loop, and on my side, it's within the loop. Although it's just one train, but carriages one to five is inside the loop, and carriages six to eight is outside. Now we're at the end of carriage five. You can see behind me, it says door closed. So the other side is definitely outside of the loop where the spectators will see. We're actually now on the taxi and uh, we're heading to our hotel. You can see there is uh, actually there's plastic over here and uh, we're only allowed to sit on the back seats so that uh, we're somehow separated from the driver. And I can also tell uh, there are many uh, different rounds of uh, disinfection water is being sprayed on the window uh, of the car. Okay, now I have arrived at my hotel. Today, uh, I traveled from Beijing all the way to Zhangjiakou. Along the way, I didn't find any loophole in the loop. The reason why they are uh, operating the loop system is because they want to make sure that the Olympic venues are completely separated from the local community to ensure the safety. Today, what we see is really, really superficial. Now, there are many things the organizers have to consider, from garbage disposal to uh, water system and air quality. In the future episodes of my vlog, I'll tell you more about how the system within the loop works.